on power up. The autonomous period has begun and all six robots looking like they're moving forward, trying to pick up the autonomous bonus. Red Alliance picks up their possession of their switch with one second left. The drivers take their controls at the beginning of the teleoperated period. Right now, Red Alliance has possession of their switch, and that's about it. And 48 and 58, 42 are tit for tat on the scale. Looks like the rookies, 69, 47, trying to put a power cube up there so the Red Alliance can take possession of the scale, and they do. Team 48. Delphi Elite looking to add on. Right now, there's three cubes on the scale for the Red Alliance. Blue Alliance has their work cut out for them. They don't have the switch and they don't have the scale. And the Red Alliance making things worse, putting a cube on the Blue Alliance switch as well. They're gonna need about three cubes of their own to get the possession of their switch back. Looks like the Blue Alliance still has their eyes set on the scale. They've got three cubes up there, but it's not enough to outweigh what the Red Alliance has amassed at this time. Power-up's not a factor yet in this match, but we have still more than a minute left to play. And the Red Alliance is pulling away with this one. But the Blue Alliance using the power-up to their advantage. The force power-up gives them possession of their switch and the scale for two more seconds, helping them make up some of this point differential. Score differential is still 180 to 50. As the Blue Alliance takes possession of the scale and the Red Alliance takes it right back. And Fifty-eight forty-two, lining up for a climb. Blue Alliance also picks up a free climb with the levitation bonus. And fifty-eight forty-two, lining up on the platform. Eat, sleep, rave. And fifty-eight forty-two, pulling itself right up there at the last second. I don't know if that's gonna count. Let's see the results of that last match. It was the Red Alliance. Red Alliance wins the 267 to 151.